is Dot Scrapbooking, and this is the third layout for my series on Are We There Yet? The Scrapbooking and Workshop Kit. Love these pages. I just really love them. A lot of really cute ideas and great techniques to learn. So here we go. These are the two pages. That's the second page, the right-hand page, and this is the left-hand page. And I already have the honey butter background attached to the um, leftover base of the bracket from, from the second layout. So I'm using my T-square ruler from close to my heart. I love this. And it's about two and a half inches down, and we're putting this five by seven piece of uh, cardstock, or not cardstock, but background paper down. And then we've got a smaller piece that's going on top of it. This is going to be for a 4 by 6 mm -hmm. vertical picture. And I love how we've got the passport stamps and the maps to um, surround the picture. Perfect, perfect for traveling. So I am just kind of doing my dry, dry layout here, um, putting all the pieces in place. And I've got a sticker that's going to go... The adventure begins. How fun, right? And it gets a little three by four photo right, uh, right snugged up right next to it, on a little little bit of a tilt. And look at how cute this is to make a little stack of the uh, luggage tags. Just so so darn cute. Love that, and I love the dimension that they give to the layouts. So, and then we've got one of the die cuts that's got the, um, what is it, airmail? They used to use it as an airmail thing. Um, anyway, that's around that. And we've got these plus signs that are going up there as little decorations. Just kind of taking your eye here and there around the page. So I'm just kind of figuring out, you know, where things are going to go generally. And each of these triangular pieces are getting distressed, sponged in their appropriate color. So this is the papaya, and then the next one, so there we've got our luggage piece. And this little piece gets sage. It's got a very faint sage color in the background of it. So it's really kind of fun to do the, the we called it distressing, but um, color, color enhancing. And I love that we're using all five colors on all three layouts. So we've got this cute little, um, piece that could be used for dates, dates and places, you know, whatever you want to put on there and just a little bit of space. No, oh, I always believe in putting things down twice, <laughs> at least. And then we've got our glacier. And so I've kept all my sponges separate uh, by keeping them on top of the stamp pads um, as I was doing these layouts so that I wouldn't mix the sponges up. Um, just want to keep all the colors clear. And I like how the, the angle of these triangular pieces um, just is, it goes right along and is parallel with the edge of the honey butter. So I'm cutting off the tip just to make it easier to fit. And this one also, so you're going to make it parallel to the bottom of the paper. And so if you're doing that, you, you know, have these lined up just fine. So, you know, if you've already got your pieces, your piece in place for the picture, then you can just cut off the tip to have it fit easier under the picture. Um, I really, I like this. I really like this idea. And look at that square angle. So you've got a square going parallel on the left-hand side, and then, you know, it's straight on the top. So you can uh, line that piece up just really well with the, the uh, background. So I'm just kind of, since I've got everything all lined up the way I want it, I'm just kind of pressing the pieces down to keep them in place. So <clears throat> this die cut is really cute. Now, I, I have to, I will admit, I didn't read the instructions 
on this piece before I started putting it together. And uh, I would suggest that you color the roads, those triangular pieces on, on this cut, on this die cut. I would suggest you do it before you put it down. I'm just saying. But um, what I came up with worked just fine, actually. Um, it worked very well. So the map is going to be the background to this cutout piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and line it up upside down and then cut off the extra that I didn't trim initially. So there we have those. The uh, You want to make sure that your arrows are going up and down. Just FYI. I mean, if, if one side is going side to side, then you want the other, other one to go side to side. My first one was going up and down, so I want this one to go up and down. So I'm putting that in place, that piece. And then I've got my backgrounds for my 3x4s with the passport stamps on top. This is so funny because I had to look up. My son is going on a cruise and he needs his passport. So, so I just had to go look up the, the, uh, our passports and they're, they're good until the 27th. We got it in 2017. So here we are all about passports. It's funny. He hasn't asked me about that passport since we got it. So here we go with those passport stamps. And then I'm just going to put the little three by fours down as a placeholder. So at some point I realized that on the instructions, all of those roads leading to the center point are all, they're all colored in the color that is, um, I'm going to have a dawning any second now. So I've got the stickers that go on, and then I realize, oh, so I have to put those down. And so this is how I'm going to color all of these roads. And once again, we're going to use all of the colors, all five colors. So I'm taking two pieces of my scrap paper here and I'm running it alongside the uh, the little, I don't know, the, the triangular road. And then I think, oh, I've got to watch out because it's not going to go all the way down to the edge. It's supposed to maintain a white edge around. So I've got this, um, we have some masking tape that you can get on my website, the uh, dorothy.closetomyheart.com. Anyway, I had this from quite a while ago. It's like um, post-it notes, but in strips, uh, like tape. And so it really worked well for covering up the uh, quarter inch border at the uh, sides and bottom of the road. And so now I'm just kind of putting all of the uh, dotting my color in place on the roads. So this actually, I have to tell you, this actually worked out quite well. And it was really pretty simple. So, and then I just bring my all of my pages around. I've got the, uh, you can't tell, but on the bottom I've got that quarter inch covered up with the, the um, little strip of sticky paper. So um, it actually came out very, very sharp. So I was, I was real happy. It's one, one of those rare times where you, you know, you're not paying attention to what you're doing and all of a sudden your fix comes out to work out very, very well. So I was happy. I lucked out is what it comes down to. So now I'm doing my glacier road. Isn't this wonderful that all the... That I love how the the uh, all the layouts kind of have elements that just kind of flow together, and you know what I really liked about about the um, it looks like I'm going on the map, but I think I've just got glacier on that piece of paper, and that's why it looks like it's yeah. Thought I was messing up there for a second, so there's my strip that I bring along. And it can be used over and over again. So, you know, it's a good, good deal. 
But the uh, using this stamp on the first layout, you know, where we were making, I'm calling them clouds, clouds of color around each of the, the uh, tags. It was really a nice technique. And I don't mind that this is splotchy color because, you know, for one thing, a road isn't going to be just perfectly one color. And, you know, the splotchiness, I don't know, to me, maybe I'm just justifying and rationalizing, but I think it just adds to the texture of the whole thing. And now we've got our little ticket in place and our are we there yet with the globe. So this is just really... And these tags are going up under each of the pictures, so you get a little, a little, uh, and of course we're going to color this one with Glacier. So we get a little area of interest under each of the pictures with the little dovetail going up. And then we've got the papaya. I'm telling you, I really enjoyed doing this workshop. I haven't, it seems like it's been a while since I've done a, a kit, a workshop kit, um, a scrapbooking workshop kit specifically. And I really, really enjoy it. I really love, I love our kits because there's so much detail. You always, they kind of push you to do some new techniques and or techniques you haven't done in a while. And, uh, you know, you just feel like, oh boy, that came out really really good. I really like the way it came out. So I just love how all of our pieces go together. And when we have three layouts, there's elements that flow from one page to another or one layout to another. Really, really like our scrapbooking kits. So I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. And thanks once again. Always thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.